with hurtful comments, etc. Constructive criticism doesn't exist. According to spiritualists, there are various things that we skeptics are meant to do. So they say about us or towards us, various things in comment sections or even in person. Things that are meant to be rationally true, but I would say are very often false. You can't do it! Of course! All those people who believe in nothing. Bias to the known facts and science. It's basically claimed because we care about what's actually true, what's demonstrable, we don't simply go with what's wishful, that we're basically, well, kind of closed-minded. Unfortunately, the worldview aspect of science has come to inhibit and constrict the free inquiry, which is the very lifeblood of the scientific endeavor. If you're skeptical, you're questioning. They're not skeptical, they're cynical. They're Apparently, we are arrogant to the point of ignoring spiritualist evidence because they claim they have scientific facts they have various types of evidence they have proof of their claims and we don't accept it so we're simply too arrogant to actually pay attention someone's cynical they've already made up their mind that something's not possible we're too afraid of admitting that life continues after physical death even though logically we have nothing to lose. Science does not support those who argue against the afterlife and the paranormal. We have our disbelief over that of the genuine facts because we don't accept anecdotal evidence, because we don't accept their arguments, because we don't accept their poor evidence or lack of evidence. Well, I guess those facts, what they call facts, don't really count for us being possessed, having spiritual overlays, channeling demons, channeling um, positive entities, negative entities, people to cease loved ones, the whole kitchen sink. Because skeptics don't understand spiritualism, they reject it. But surely any religious person could make that claim about their belief. I think that, you know, the, the skeptic movement, may, we may be seeing the final days of the skeptic movement. It may be, this is a fad that is going away, that, you know, reductionist, materialist obsession is is being proved, proved false. They're locked in the materialistic way of thinking. They're basically saying because we care about what is materially true, what is actually, well, evident, once again this relates to facts, that limits our way of thinking, therefore we cannot perceive, we cannot link to, we cannot accept their particular spiritual religious view. Because what I experience is, is very real and, and physical. You can believe in something only if you experience it. It's not somebody going to show you, guys. Experience will teach you your errors. As if simply going through the ideas, or having some kind of perhaps revelation, some kind of spiritual experience, will teach you that your previous thoughts were utterly wrong. Well it wouldn't show you to a degree that you would know you were wrong. The experience could change your mind, what you think is true, but that wouldn't necessarily prove what you believed before was wrong. What would prove that is some kind of, oh, I don't know, evidence? Resentful of people that are looking to connect with that. It's a sign of being a young soul. You lack spiritual development. That's why you don't believe. That's why you're operating in the lower levels of energy because you're not spiritually developed enough. If you know this, like we're telling you, it happens this way. That's how easy it is to manipulate and move and change energy. Jumping to conclusions. The idea is that the skeptic jumps to conclusions. Even if you've spent a long time looking into these things, looking at the so-called evidence, and you come to the same conclusion, they will presume you haven't looked into it at all because you haven't been convinced. You have to have a proof from somebody, because the proof you're going to have it inside. You'll see the truth when you pass over to the afterlife. Because that's what spiritualism comes down to in the end. Well, we didn't convince you when we said you're biased. We didn't convince you when we called you arrogant. We didn't convince you when we called you fearful and afraid. We didn't convince you when we called you a disbeliever. We didn't convince you when we called you a person who can't comprehend the belief. We didn't convince you when we said that you're a materialist who can't think beyond limited parameters. We didn't convince you when we said 
experiencing it will show you that it must be true. We didn't convince you when we said you had a baby soul, your young soul, poorly developed, that you jumped to conclusions. So in the end, we came down to the only thing we could really use. Well, I guess you'll find out when you die, when you reincarnate, when you have to learn over again, because apparently this is humble for spiritualism. And this is precisely the kind of bullshit, the kind of nonsense coming out of the spiritualist movement. I understand your desire for justice.